cinco segundos. ¡Ja, ja, 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 This is a short film about a world hidden and untold from 95% of the human race. This is a story about a lost civilization, once a striving population, now in ruins and taken over by nature. This is a story of the underworld of Mexico. For the longest time, I have yearned to journey deep into the heart of Mexico to explore beneath its lands and what is known today in the Mayan language as cenotes, or in English, a well. Mexico holds the highest concentration of cenotes in the entire world, with over 6,000 recorded and known cenotes, and from what I've heard, thousands more are waiting to be discovered. About 12,000 years ago, at the end of the last ice age, sea levels rapidly increased to over 65 meters, causing massive holes on land to fill up with water, turning into what we know today as cenotes. These cave systems have been lingering on Earth for about 66 million years, way before the last ice age. Who knows what kind of civilization and life strived back then before sea levels rose and claimed it as its own. So I got in touch with a friend that lives there and has been diving and photographing all these cenotes for the last few years and I decided to set up a trip with her for myself so I could find out more. As we began descending, it felt like I was descending into a completely new world, a different realm if I must say so. At some point, it felt like I was in space. Now picture this with me, you're flying through space, it's dark, peaceful, and as you shine your light around, little sediments reflect off its rays, mimicking the stars in the night sky. The stalactites mimicking asteroids floating by you. And as you fly by, the moon's rays shines brightly behind you. Now, did you picture that in your mind? Because that was exactly how it felt like in that exact moment. It was truly a sight and experience to behold. One would think that no life would flourish in such conditions. But to my surprise, deep within these cave systems, a few odd-looking creatures have decided to call it home. One of it being the blind fish, or in other words, the Dama Blanca, having lived in the darkness all its life through the years. This fish has evolved so much to the point where eyesight is no longer needed. And amongst many other creatures, like the albino Iwutu, all these amazing alien-like species are on the brink of extinction. Sadly, only to be found in Mexico, they are now threatened by pollution. I spent two weeks diving and exploring 14 cenotes in Tulum and the Yucatan Peninsula. And yet, so much was discovered. From the creatures of the darkness to Mayan human remains, relics and pottery. Even giant sloth remains from the Ice Age. Crazy stalactite and stalagmite formations. Seeing all this just really makes you wonder what kind of civilization used to live here before the darkness consumed it? What stories lay hidden in the cenotes waiting to be uncovered? And if there's one thing cave diving has taught me, it's that we all come from the light, but eventually, we'll all have to face the darkness of this world, and we're all going to be forced to navigate it or drown. Some people are able to carry some light to light the way for others, but eventually, even their batteries will run out. This film depicts perfectly the amount of light we have left in this world surrounded by darkness. And when our light runs dry, how we choose to set our mindset during the dark times is what's crucial to our survivor. We all have to come back to the light eventually, but it's the journey through the darkness that changes us. And when we return to the light, do we allow that dark journey we just went through to consume us and what's left of the light to go dimmer? Or do we go back to the light, a completely new soul?